One of the great characteristics of the three separate pavilions and the soft connection between each of them is that you get great light through the middle of the building and it also plays off the textures of the external materials which are actually inside, adding extra detail and extra idiosyncrasy that makes this building what it is. I'm Matt Gibson from Matt Gibson Architecture and Design. This project is named My Gunya by the Circus. The house resides in North Fitzroy, opposite Edinburgh Gardens, and it's an area that combines a lot of late Victorian and Edwardian buildings. It's in a heritage overlay. It's an individually significant house within itself. When the client came to us, they had just purchased the house and what they wanted from us being a six person family with four young children was to increase the bedrooms to a five bedroom house and to better integrate interiors with garden. The conceptual approach involved the provision of a series of three distinct pavilions. The original building, a second contemporary building in cream brick and then the new pavilion to the west side of the site which involved a north facing family room and a series of individual gardens. The forms are inspired from a contemporary interpretation of arts and crafts architecture. We found that this was a very sympathetic connection with the existing building and indeed with the context of the area. We used a Daniel Robinson brick called Buff Blend and it's actually the brick behind me. Uh, it was used to coordinate with the existing building which also has a cream brick and we liked that it was a contemporary interpretation, has a beautiful texture and colour to it and tone that is linked in with the existing building. Another key factor in the choice of the brick was that the bricks were carbon neutral, which aligned with our philosophy of reusing existing materials, resalvaging, or where things were new that they had a low carbon emission. We've worked with Brickworks now on a number of projects and they're always fantastic at providing that extra degree of acumen and detail and assisting in providing something that is perhaps beyond the conventional. The green space to the west was broken up into three individual gardens. Each garden hedge has an aperture through the middle and this provides a link between the street and Edinburgh Gardens through to the rear of the house. And vice versa, this provides a level of privacy to the park and to the street, but with a little vignette through to the Edinburgh Gardens. All through the project, wherever there is new intervention, we have looked to interpret ideas from the past, so ideas from the existing building or buildings in the area. For example, in the family room, we have employed a cavity brick system that has a double brick external wall and a double brick internal wall. Externally, it's the brownie blue coloured La Paloma Romero brick, and internally we have white painted brick. You look through to the Inglenook fireplace, which is a derivation of an old arts and crafts interior fireplace, and you see the brown brick of the external wall. And there is a beautiful shelving system, which is uh, done out of folded steel. The shapes of it mimic the shapes of the buildings themselves. There's a large cavity within the roof where we have then laid laths, so again a play on a historic material which provide beautiful height and warmth to the ceiling, which speaks to the way that the materials are put together in a tectonic form, meaning that they express their material and structure in a natural way, artistically composed. The house is zoned into distinct elements. For example, downstairs you have the front two rooms which are a living and formal dining space. This house is a library, which the kids often use as a study space. And then you go upstairs and the stair itself is located between the buildings. It has a skylight above it, so it's connecting in a light way the old with the new. As you move up that staircase, you move one way into the old building, which houses the existing bedrooms, and the other way into the new building, which houses two additional bedrooms. The master bedroom is one of the grand rooms of the house. Uh, it always has been, has an incredible view over the treetops, great amenity and is a wonderful space. Behind that we have now added a walk-in robe and ensuite. The end kids bedroom which faces out towards the pool has a series of windows which is a play on the existing windows within the existing building. 
As you look up between the pavilions, you can see the express nature of these windows with their different shapes. In the end, it's been a great collaboration between all the parties with Overend Constructions, who did a great job of conceiving it, with Robin Barlow, landscape architect, with our own project architect, Cassie Southern, who did an incredible job managing it, and with Brickworks, who were the key material supplier of the project. This bears well for great legacy, great care of the home, and great ongoing memories and experiences.